Okay, so pretty good names. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I still... I, I mean, not good. I can agree. <laughs> I, not I, good. I agree more with Chapman forever, for sure. <laughs> with uh, graphics... Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> graphics soon to accompany, by the way. Yes. I think we're going to have fun with the graphics. I've already got a couple ideas. You've already got a couple ideas. And obviously we're banking off of uh, a superhero flick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Casey... In case you've never heard of a uh, flick from the 90s called Batman Forever. I was thinking Superman 3. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the Flash TV series. <laughs> Goodwill Hunting? Holy fuck, Goodwill, that's it. The Daminator. Love that guy. Not as much as I love Ryan Reynolds. Are you excited for Deadpool 2? I am pretty excited. Yeah, the whole superhero genre, I don't think it's like, it's not... It's not even played out for me. It's not even. It's not that it's tiresome, and I don't know what the word is I'm trying to think of right here. But like, I'm at a point where it's like good, but I don't like. I'm waiting for something new. If that makes sense. Um, it doesn't. But okay. <laughs> no, no, right. no, it makes perfect sense. Um, what I was gonna say, which I already kind of forgot. I literally already forgot what I was gonna say. Something along the lines of. No. Okay. So here's what I was gonna say. Okay. <laughs> Go on. Was. If you take the, the superhero movie genre mm-hmm. from, like, when it first started. Now, technically, you know, arguably it started before this. But let's really admit where it started. It started with the very first Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. Yeah. I it, could it, say... It, look, I could there was ones before that. There was Blade before that. There was Batman. definitely superhero movies before that. But, not, but ba- that's, like, when people thought, oh, shit, this can actually be something we all actually, enjoy. You know what? Good call, because Batman's not... Like, he's a superhero, but he's not super-powered. Like, I know what you Well, mean. he's a superhero. I'm not going to say Because was... I'd argue that the Keaton one is kind of the first, but it's not in the same... To me, it's more of a... It's different. It's not a superhero movie. I think we can all agree that there's a, the, a comic book movie movement that we've been in for a while. Yes. And I think it all that's, began... Okay. Which I think if the in Spider-Man case, movie didn't happen, I don't think we'd really be watching uh, Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think we'd be watching Avengers or anything like that. In I that think case, that was the thing that started it all. And I agree with you completely there, yeah. Um, in that case, yeah. I see what you mean. There's a slow here. There was, yeah, go to the right side of it. It's very, you're right there. See, there you go. Um, but there was, <laughs> there was a slump with, like, okay, that started out pretty strong. But then, you know, you got movies like Fantastic Four where, like, you know, yeah. you might like it, you might hate it, but it's nowhere near, like, what Fantastic Four actually is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it was somewhere around... I, I think it probably starts with Iron Man in 08 where they go, wow. hey, if we just actually make it like it was in the oh. comics... Shit. If we actually make it like it was in the comics and actually do it legitimate to the exactly. source material... People are actually going to be be okay into it. Yeah, they finally figured it out. Like, hey, like the reason people a lot of times don't like these movies is because we fuck around and change shit that just doesn't need yeah. to be changed. And we had such fucking momentum with it, but then there's recently been in the last couple years movies where it's like they're like, oh, well, that's been going good, but let's try changing shit again. Yeah. Like they did with like the fucking Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah, movies. the reboot, and that's that. why it didn't really work. Or like they did with the reboot of the fucking Fantastic Four yeah, movie, where you're just like, oh, what are you doing? Like, I mean, this isn't... And it, now, I mean, the, the compliment I can still give it is that instead of going one step forward, two steps back, it's more like two step forward, one step back. But I feel like they're making movies in the last little bit where you're just going like, no, you guys had it figured out. If you yeah. just do exactly what's this. there... Doesn't mean you can't still add shit to the story, but don't change the origin, don't change no. the overall story. And they love doing that shit. Though. You can add little things to it, and that's sweet, but, like, don't change shit. But I feel like recently they've been making just odd decisions where they kind of go back a step. Yeah. In it's, spite of the fact it was... It's like when they have an awesome show, right? And, like, oh, my God, that was amazing. Fucking great ratings. Now, what we're going to need you to change for season two. <laughs> and it's like, what? It's like you don't need It to. was fucking flawless. There's a reason season one did so yeah. well. Kind of like, again, a classic example of what they did with, like, Chappelle show back in the day. Mm-hmm. That was kind of why he walked. He kept wanting to make changes yeah, and shit. Yeah, he didn't want to change it, yeah. Speaking of uh, the Chappelle show, I haven't watched it yet, but you said you watched the specials already on that right? I did. And they were good. I liked them. Yeah. But I heard that there was some sort of controversy surrounding them. Um, I mean, I don't know how much of a controversy it is. Like, I, I seen one article where they were talking about them uh, being, um, contributing to rape culture, but then transgender community was offended. What I'm more curious of, though, in this day and age, when I hear people being offended, is it the actual group in question that's offended, or is it just 
a bunch of fucking white people that are offended for them. For them, okay. you know what I mean. In a lot of cases, I don't I've know yet. That, it's still too new. Yeah, you see that all the time. There's, they're technically the social justice warriors you keep hearing about. You know the one I mean? that, that kind of care, but more care warriors. about letting you know that they aren't that, yeah. as opposed to actually caring about it. Caring about letting you know that you're wrong for one, yeah. two. On top of that, it's the license to be a dick. But so I don't. It, it's still. The problem is, is it came out, like, I think two days ago, so it's still too early to tell who's mad and how mad everybody is. Yeah. It's one of those things, I watched it, and there's certain things that, you know, I took no offense to, but, but I got, in the world that we fucking live in, there's, there's no someone, scenario where someone's not going to be mad. Yeah. It's just a, depending on how mad they are. Well, I don't agree with that, no, I'm going to The it. only joke where I was like, wow, that's ballsy. Oh. But again, oh shit. Oh, good. Um... The only joke that I've seen without like telling you what it is exactly, mm -hmm. where I'm like, that's ballsy. But if you listen, it's one of those jokes where like he does a setup for it, he kind of does a joke about it in the first 20 minutes, we laugh at it and you get what he's doing, and then towards the tail end, he does a callback to that joke, yeah. but with a different like tone, oh. and that's where I'm like, ooh, that's kind of ballsy. Like people, people aren't gonna get. They know you're going to be referencing the first thing, but they're not going to give a fuck about the first thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're just going to be like, oh, you said that, so this is what you mean. Yeah, it's like, no, but you're you're taking me out and of I'll context. And I'll give you a little taste without telling yeah, you know, anything about the joke. I don't care. It was a Cosby it. thing. Oh, of course. I, well, I don't even know why I say of course, like I knew that's what he was well, going to talk I, about. Well, I, I did mention there, among the transgender, him being homophobic. As I, I mean, these aren't my views. No. These are just what What's people being? were talking about that they had a problem with. The other thing was like, oh, he's contributing to rape culture. Hmm. Which, I, again, if you watch it and you listen to the context of the first joke he tells, it's which not. he's tagging up on the end, I don't think he is, personally. Okay. But. Well, I'm probably going to take a gander at it either tomorrow night, tonight at practice. But yeah, I want to see what... Uh, Two what specials, too. I know, that's what's great. But how long are they? Like an hour? An hour plus? Both, like, a little over an hour. Cool. Like, maybe an hour and five. Perfect. Something like that. I, complete, I had heard something about there being two specials. But... I my I was under the impression that they were going to release the one special and then a couple weeks, couple months later they're going to release the other one. Yeah. Oh, they're all uh, like old specials, not old old, but like from last year or the year before. They're going to Like oh, they okay. talk uh, I think the one special I can't remember if it's the first one or the last one, but at one point he makes a thing about uh Gary Shanling or whatever that yeah. died uh and was I think I think or something? No, 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 it wasn't poor pace. He was just saying like he was just going like a I'm what, Gary what, Shandling. <laughs> what a dick bag. Aren't we all glad he's dead? I'm dead. Fuck me. No, it was like, I think it might have been at the end where he's like, oh, I just want to mention we had a legend pass away, blah, blah, blah. And he mentioned someone else. I can't remember who had passed. So you could date. I think it happened like that week. Yeah. I don't think it happened that day, but it happened that week. So you could find out exactly when they died and date his, oh, the okay. time he recorded it. So that's when, okay. I see. Yeah, like a, a few of his rep, like, he doesn't really reference uh, Trump that much, but anytime he does, it's more uh, election related as opposed uh, to president related. Well, we probably filmed this a little while ago too. On top of yeah. that, you know, compare like he didn't just do it yesterday, you know. <laughs> well, most stand-ups don't, but it's usually only off by a couple months. Like I think he recorded this long. I think he recorded this before he had the deal with Netflix. I think he just kind of recorded it and then was like, I think I'm going to sell this to someone. That would be my assumption. Yeah. I like this one. This is one we were trying to get into, but people were being things. The which one? Oh, that very, very first map. Remember, people just kept leaving the lobby and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't done this one yet. Oh, my back. There we go. Sweet, so I'll watch that tomorrow. Walk, uh, back to zombies, so I'm just going on the show thing, too. Uh, yeah. The Walking Dead is getting pretty interesting. It's getting better. Last week's, like, it wasn't thrilling, but it set everything up to what be was thrilling. last week's without, like, spoilers, uh, I guess? Stuff with, uh, uh, what's her face? Was it Rosita? Oh, yeah, and, Rosita uh, and, um... I always forget her name, too. I'm Tyrone's daughter. I don't fucking remember. Yeah, so there's that, you know what I mean, so... The only reason I always remember she's Tyrone's daughter is because I don't think Tyrone had a daughter in the comics, if no. I remember correctly. Is she even in the comics? Like I don't think so. Yeah. Rosita is. Rosita is, yes. And then fucking the stuff with Eugene and... Yeah, um, yeah. I remember. And I think the week before that was the stuff with uh, 
what's his face? <laughs> Rick and Michonne? Yes. Were there, yeah, yeah. Or was that the week before? Was it, was this one with the, the kingdom and they did the trades and things went it wrong? It was both. They, this week it was the kingdom and the, the just trading shit, and yeah. then it was Rosita and, again, yeah, not okay. trying to be a dick, but what's her face? Yeah, I just can't What's remember. her fuck? It's, gonna, it's leading up to good fucking... I just like the where this is going. It's a little bit more, like, exciting than the last... Like, like the last season, for instance. Yeah. Like, the last season was okay, but... I don't know. Walking Dead has that problem of, like, <laughs> every single time you think it's gonna get good, it dials it back. Yeah. And... But it caught a lot of fucking... It's one of those shows... It's one of those... Sh- where they catch flack for, like, just in general? Or... Uh, I would, the, the season over, no one cares anymore, but the, gr- the oh, brutality... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've literally... Um... I was watching, or list well, both watching and listening to Rogan's podcast, and he was referring it to like torture porn. Yeah, and it's like, and like he said, he stopped watching after that. It's one of those really? things where you get frustrated. And it's like I, I see why you feel that way, but that's not what the show changed it's not what, into. No, it's just they were trying. It, it's hard to explain to certain people. It's like they were trying to establish the character. Yeah, particularly with that scene where like Rick's like, "I'm gonna kill you," and he's like, "I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say?" And then that's when he takes him on the little fucking journey where he basically turns oh, him into the a RV bitch and, shit, and yeah. then comes back and he's still gonna chop off what's his face oh, I won't go into details for any jackass yeah, who hasn't seen hasn't, it at this uh, point yeah. but like it's not really spoiling it again anymore. like he does that he does that Rick Fuck. move that you hope he does where he's like no, I'm gonna fucking get you I know you got me by the balls now but now. I'm gonna fucking get you and Fuck. basically they were trying to establish that this character is a character who goes oh yeah? yeah you think so you think so and then they show him that, I mean, like, I know you're going to hold on to that little sliver of hope which you've held on to in the past. I'm not even going to give you that shit. And they're just trying to establish that. And he, from what I understand, he's... And I think there's, again, sorry not to cut you off, but no. I think they're trying to differentiate him, like, oh, we all thought the governor was so bad. And he was, but it's just he like... He was, but... They want to go, no. Like, that, you know, that whole, I'm going to get you later, is something you could say to the governor and yeah. get away with and it. and get away with but not this guy. Not this guy. They're trying to establish guy. that this guy's a little bit fucking different. Sorry, what were you saying, though? No, no, you got it. That's pretty much what I was leading to, yeah. The governor, the, the governor talk type of thing, yeah. I can finish your sentences. Well, there's Sorry also... I'm not going to finish it. In the comics, and it's it's, it's widely it's, known... It's, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't finish your sentences. finish each other's <laughs> sandwiches. Sandwiches. Okay. Baloney said that? Baloney? Yeah, but uh, you know, it's widely known if you just even look it up, or just people who already are into Walking Dead. But Negan is apparently still in the comics. I even knew that. You know, and I, I actually didn't know that. I oh, sorry. I, kinda, <laughs> I stopped. No, well, I mean that's fine. Um, I'm never gonna read it now. <laughs> no, I, I stopped reading around issue like 103. Yeah, I don't oh. really know what they're at now. Actually, let's look that up. Yeah, check that out for me, would you? Obviously, different characters, different kind of How story. I search but that? Basically, uh, you could just do Walking Dead comic issue. Walking right? Dead current comic book issue. Let's see if that works. He's doing a vocal uh, issue. 144 is what's come. No, I don't think that's right. No, I see that was a long 59. time. Ago. Oh shit! Um, shit. Well, regardless, I think it's probably past this. But the, the most recent one I'm seeing is 159. It could be well past that. Yeah. But for context, I left off at 103. Oh, okay. So if they're at so one, lot, even yeah. if they're at 159, that's still a fucking lot. And oh, they, could, they could be way past that. Because I always used to read them. Because the problem is, I started reading it maybe two years before they made the TV show. Yeah. So they'd already had quite a few comics at the point, and they made a compendium. And I got it for Christmas. The compendium, yeah. Um, I believe from my brother. Nice. And I didn't pick it up right away. It was like one day, it was like a snowstorm, the power went out, and I fucking just binged on it by candlelight. Nice. And, Ooh, classic. Uh, I got way into it. The problem was I was so used to reading it, like, issue after issue, because they just put... It's a compendium. Yeah. So just there was probably straight. the first, like, you know, 40 to 50 issues in that. And there's no... You don't even know when the comic book technically ends, because they don't go, oh, this is the end of the comic book. Oh, no, they, now oh so they never put it. It's any... just continuous. Oh. You can kind of tell when it ends, because they usually end on a full page, like animation, yeah. and it's usually something intense. So you go, I bet you that was the end of the comic if I was reading them individually. So the problem is, when I finally got out of the compendium, there was a few comics that built up, and I downloaded them. Um, legally. Yep. 
Oh, you got it. Legally. Quotation marks. Calm down. Um, I won't. Okay. I just don't want to get sued. But oh. I don't. Robert Kirkman, man, he's listening. To this. Yeah, it's true. We're fucking really pop. Chapman forever. There's no way he's not listening. To this. Yeah. Oh, you son of a bitch. But uh, yeah, no, I couldn't. I couldn't just read them individually. So I had to. I once I finished the compendium, there was probably about ten extra issues. I read those. And then, like, the next month, the next issue comes out, and I'm only reading, like, 20 pages after uh, reading, you know yeah. what I mean? It yeah, was just yeah, too yeah, little, yeah, so yeah. I had to wait. I hate that shit, too. I'd have to wait at least three months for three issues for it to be worth my while, but, uh, I don't know, I just kind of stopped at 103, was waiting for him to build up, and then just never went back just to never, it. never, yeah. So, and I'm kind of at a point where, like, because the, the show is finally caught up to where I am in the comics, I almost want to go back to it but part of me doesn't because now I can finally enjoy it as someone who doesn't know what's going to happen next and you got so many issues ahead of you right now too, yeah. which is perfect right well at least fucking 56 or yeah, something like exactly. that not more and I'm sure there's a compendium or two in between those. Like, how how many issues did a compendium hold? Do you remember at all? I, I it didn't don't show, but... remember I mean again something else I could probably look up to me it felt like fucking 50 issues yeah. but I don't think it probably was they're pictures, so there's not much fucking, you know yeah. what I mean? There's more... You go through it. You can burn through it, yeah. Walking Dead Compendium 1. So maybe just give a list or something. Oh, yeah, never mind. Um, Volume 1 came out in... Came out in 09, so maybe I didn't start reading it before... Because I think the show came out in 09, so I maybe the show right. came out later the, that year. I do remember it being quick, because I remember reading it, having no idea that there was going to be a show, getting right into it, and then not long after, I'm like, oh, there's going to be a show of this? Like, yeah. sweet. See, before, yeah. That's how when TJ got into it, too, I think right before. Uh, I don't know. I don't really feel like reading through this whole oh, it's thing all figured good. out. But, I don't know. It's probably closer to, like, 25 to 30 issues. Yeah, I could see that. Something like that. I don't know how many... <laughs> Maybe there's an official number for what a compendium... Uh, has to contain yeah, but I to legally be called a compendium. Like, I think if you have a movie and you want to call it a feature film, it has to be at least 90 minutes, or it's uh, not a film. Or it's not a film, yeah. It'd be called or a short, movie. I guess, maybe? A short, I don't know, even if there's a movie I think it'd short. still be called a film, but it can't be called a movie. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, let's look that up. Yeah. Now, while, while we're looking, while I got my phone out and we're looking shit up. Don't you love technology? <clears throat> How long is a feature film... Very, very vague. Uh, according to the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, I don't know why it has to do with science, but okay. uh, the American Film Institute and British Film Institute, a feature film runs for 40 minutes. Long. Really? 40 minutes or longer. Okay, so it has to be... Oh, wait. Well, the Screen Actors Guild states that it is 80 minutes uh, or longer. Okay. So the majority of feature films are between 70 and 210 minutes. Fuck, another lap? Okay. So a film can be up to 40? So the American Film Institute and the British Film Institute, they consider it 40 minutes, but the Screen Actors Guild, which I think is a little bit higher up, considers at least 80 minutes. So that's mm. still 10 minutes You're pretty up. much, no, regardless, you're, that's good. Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, that's not terrible. You were pretty, you were right, fuck. I kind of remember this, because I think I had an argument with TJ about it back <laughs> in the day. Oh, brothers. And then that was like right around the time, like where you could search shit right away. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, check this out. That fucking feeling you get when you're right, you just like, yeah. well, and that was a very fucking new feeling at the time when, because it was before, yeah, it, cool. you know, you'd have to fucking jump on your computer. You couldn't just jump on your phone at the time. Oh no, oh yeah. So you had then, that yeah. instant gratification of like, oh, you fucking dick. Shock it out. I'm right. I don't know why you developed an accent to your brother, but... And then he beat me with a fucking bar stool. Yeah. Was... I'd tip over a beer, and then ten minutes later, we wouldn't know what we're talking about. Yeah, I remember when he hit you with a bar stool. It was awesome. Do you remember, yeah, I was going to say, do you remember that? that I, I think I've asked you about this before. Do you remember what that argument was about? No. Because I, for the life I of me, I remember the image of it, and uh, it was kind of hilarious. Because I remember... <laughs> I remember... He had your feet up and stuff, trying to block it, but he fucking... I had my shoes on, and he was... That was the thing. So he picked up the bar stool, and I was sitting on a couch, and he came (laughs) running at me with the bar stool, so I put up my feet to block it, and then he just started smashing my feet, and then ended up fucking up his own finger. Yeah, I I remember the finger thing. Like, to the point where the next day, he's like, fuck, my finger, like, (laughs) what, what were we fighting about? But what I remember is... I remember, I don't remember what we're fighting about, but I remember how I pissed him off, and it's how I've pissed him off since I was a child. Oh, of course. Where I just kind of go, yeah, where, okay, fine. Oh, he hates that, eh? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Just doing that shit, and it 
fucking drove him nuts. My sister goes nuts when you go, uh huh. Mm-hmm. Just yes. Yeah. She'd rather have like a vocal, like okay or yes, you know what I mean. But for some, just noises. Well, and it's it's one of those things like when you know someone, it's it's frustrating when you know someone's trying to piss you off and they still manage to piss you off. Yeah. So then it becomes like an explosive anger. But I just remember him doing that, I'm doing and that. then me like kind of like gently kicking over a drink thinking it was his and then you're like oh my beer <laughs> <laughs> like so like soft like in the corner because I knew you, it was still like super tense in the room so you didn't want to like reignite reignite a fight yeah so like, oh shit my beer oh, <laughs> oh shit ah uh, you guys are definitely brothers Everyone. and that was the thing that was great about it was like that night it wasn't even like the next day we didn't know it was literally like 20 minutes later and he's like oh man I can't believe how like why the fuck was I hitting you again like, I don't know I don't remember like, dick <laughs> nice they're brothers. That's how brothers do. Just saying. Good old uh, toucan days when you guys lived above the toucan. Yeah, it was fun to be above bar until it got until it got not fun. Basically, until it was. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm all I was I'm all about like fucking people coming over and shit. But the noise got to me, so, and at the end, people just they think they can come over whenever they because want. Because yeah, I went to do that a couple times. And it's not even that I didn't enjoy the company. They basically would just stop. For a place to smoke weed or to have a drink or something like or that. Or the fact that like, we all yeah. at one point worked at a restaurant next door, so then everybody on break would be like, I know where I'm going for break. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck is happening? Oh! Jesus. And like I said, I'm all about people coming over, but don't use my place as your place to fucking... It's not crash. Because it's right above a bar, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. He was on the Spanish He's Spanish flying away. He was on the Spanish flying Fucking eighth is what he be. I did it at least. Fuck him. Under the wire. Fuck him. Ah, I think that might conclude this whole podcast. So until next time, I came in eighth and I suck.